Yeah. Better now. Any yeah. crazy <laughs> fan experiences yet? Not yet. I mean, we like. Manhattan's a nightmare right now with traffic and getting places. Yeah. Yeah. And so we end up, we were in the car like it's a couple minutes after we are supposed to get in the car and we got here so late we couldn't even stop outside to say hi to people and we just kind of been like bouncing around nonstop. So I'm hoping once things calm down after our panel, we get to like interact some stuff. Yeah, yeah. I've had a few. I had one time when um, I was in Kentucky visiting family for the holidays and it was like the day before Christmas, it's like 23rd of December having dinner with like my grandparents and my doorbell rings and a family had driven down from Chicago just assuming that I would be home at my parents' house and like <gasps> ring, ring the doorbell. And oh, I was that's there, like, so dinner. scary. It's pretty, I mean, they were like super sweet and they were like, you know, like young, like kind of teenage girls and everything. I was like, I don't know how to react. So I don't want to condone this kind of behavior, but also your children, like, right. your parents should know better than to like yeah. do that. Yeah, oh wow. That's yeah, so that scary. was pretty intense. I mean, that had happened in my house in LA too. People like pulled up. I was like, I walked into my house I, oh, I, I went to open my door and like a van like like pulled up in front of my house and the door swings open and it's like a grandma and her daughter <laughs> drove down drove up for like their like 12 year old daughter's birthday to find my house and that is like, great behavior to teach I was like yeah. girl. stalking and like yeah kidnapping invasion of privacy yeah <laughs> I mean, you throw a bag over my head like in Future Man? And <laughs> there was an actress who opened up the door and the guy shot her like decades ago. I mean, oh, I remember true. that. Yeah. yeah. I hope I mean, that doesn't happen too. <laughs> well, that, so I don't that think would this be very bad. bad. <laughs> yeah. Give us see God. He went from Hunger Games to doing comedy now. Cool. And exactly, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Good. Okay. <laughs> so your physicality on the show is absolutely brilliant. Oh, great. Thanks. Where does that come from? I think I'm just a real life clown most of the time. I just like to entertain people, and I don't have a lot of shame in doing so. So I just like really? kind of go for it. Yeah, I'll just go for it, and if it gets a laugh, then it's it's good. It's nice to make people laugh and just escape into a world for a while. So if we can if we can do that with various forms of comedy, including slapstick and crazy stuff like that, then I'm I'm down. Yeah. What's your favorite like a physical comedy moment on the show so far? Or a couple of favorites. Um, so it's a kind of running bit where I sort of am treated like a dog and like <laughs> chained to like a shack and fed bean mush and muzzled and all this. And just that whole section of like physically kind of embodying a dog was pretty fun. I love dogs and I feel like I am one kind of in my soul <laughs> and like a Labrador. And, uh, and so for me, I kind of really enjoyed getting to physically embody that. And your scenes with Ed Bagley Jr. are so hilarious oh, yeah. because you're so like you're a ball of energy, and he's like oh, he's know. super tranquil, yeah. So can you um, you know talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I mean he's Ed, Ed's amazing. He's like the sweetest guy. I was like driving down the street the other day, and he was driving his car, and I was driving mine in this little neighborhood, and I was like, oh, Ed, Ed. And he rolled on the window. He's like, hey, Josh, how are you? So good to see you. Uh, how's everything going with it? Like just the nicest guy in the world. Super loving, super sweet, so peaceful. Yeah, he's great. Um, oh boy. I mean, I grew up watching a lot of a lot of Robin Williams, yeah. and and while he he kind of like he has, he has a lot of physical comedy, but he's not like I don't think you would think about him as that physical. He's always kind of embodying these crazy characters, and but I think that he just he's he's really smart about how he does his physicality, like economic physical. Uh, yeah, exactly. Humor. Yeah, so I, I I idolize him. I mean, obviously Jim Carrey's the master of that. I feel mm. of kind of going super big, and it works always. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, those two are like the best in my mind. Yeah. That's a real art form. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's crazy. But, are there any favorite moments or moments you really enjoy that just didn't make it that that got on the cutting floor, but you're like, ah. Oh. Um. Honestly, not really. This season, like, they did a great job of writing and using everything they wrote. I feel. Um, I think there's anything that really like. Not really. I think I think it was pretty pretty solid all around. Yeah. I don't know. To kind of to shock people a bit with the language and the kind of content is fun and and it's like it just shows you you can just sort of not be so serious and like not like okay like obviously swearing a lot is like considered bad or like whatever. But I think in this kind of world it gives people like an outlet like a release to kind of like be able to sit back and watch something that we just go so fucking crazy that people don't have to in their everyday lives. And they so what's your favorite curse word? Yeah, fuck. Shit. Um, <laughs> one, you have to I don't pick fucking one. know. <laughs> uh, shit. Shit's nice. 
Shit's good. <laughs> shit's, shit's good. He shit's good. Right. because of the emoticon. Yeah, exactly. It, actually, I love the emoticon too. No, it's not uh, shit, shit, shit. It's like you can do so many. Every cuss word. What I like about curse words is they're versatile. You can be very serious about it. You can be very funny about it. It can mean like, oh shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! Like there's so many versatility. Versatility. There's a scene in The Wire where they all just use the word fuck. And oh it's, really? It's in I all. The wire. It's I see it. absolutely genius. And like, you totally know what they're saying. The whole scene yeah, is yeah. just the word fuck. Yeah. Um, I, I can get behind that one. Well, fuck. It's been a real fucking pleasure, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Josh.